my own research area can be broadly divided into two different areas. The first area is really to enhance our ability to respond to emerging infectious disease outbreaks. Just like SARS, you know, 10 years ago, I think the early detection and identification of new agent play an essential role really in disease investigation and also to reduce the, the damage that disease causes. So my research really focuses in this area, the first area. And the second area of research that I'm interested in is in bats as a reservoir of emerging viruses. And again, for the last two decades, for some reason that we found that this deadly virus from bats, like SARS, like Ebola, like Nipah viruses, all came from bats. And yet, this virus caused no disease in bats. So we thought that's really interesting and important for us to understand this virus-host interaction. And the lessons we learned from bats may be able to help us in two different aspects. One is to reduce the disease sort of incidence from bats. And more importantly, maybe we can learn from bats and to invent new therapeutics or new vaccines to help human health and even animal health. Yeah, I think that uh, you know, I'm involved in the program in three different capacities. You know. One is as a program director, so I'm the director of emerging infectious disease. So I'm overall responsible for designing the core sort of uh, courses within the IBM program. And secondly, as a professor, I do deliver lectures to our IBM students as well. And lastly, but I think it's pretty important, is that uh, I'm involved in the recruitment and uh, 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 supervision of PhD students at the, at the bench level and for their research projects. So I think that I have the, the uh, uh, luxury of uh, going through PhD programs in USA, Australia, China, and Singapore. I think the IBM program is unique. It starts with the integration, I think, I, you know, integration of different disciplines. I think that's very important. And the secondly, I think it's important is because the IBM program really focuses on from very basic science to all the way to translation and the clinical sort of applications. I think that is very important. And the last part is interesting as well is that because we have a relatively small program, you know, the IBM program compared with other PhD programs, it's relatively small. So we can assure the quality and also we have a lot of flexibility built in that we can adjust the program to suit the students. So I think these are our strengths and the uniqueness. Mm -hmm.